We are honored to have a great friend of ours who is going to be inducted into a Hall of Fame coming up here in just a couple of days. And folks, uh, for many, many years, it was a routine. What you did on Sunday morning, Jackie, you woke up. Okay. You walked over, you grabbed the newspaper, you opened up the paper, and while you're reading the paper, you turned on the radio, and you listened to... Andre playing the blues. <laughs> <laughs> on KGGO. The Roadhouse. On the Roadhouse, of course. You've got to say it. I can't say it. Every time you mention the Roadhouse, that was the name of his show. Okay. It's called mm -hmm. The Roadhouse. He can say oh, yeah. a heck of a lot better than we can. As soon as he talked, I knew, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Andre, uh, we've we've known this man for uh, many moons, decades, in fact, and it is such an honor to have you, first of all, here. Thank you. And I'm so happy for you to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Me too. 45 years of playing the blues actually paid off. How about that? Now, 45 years. 45 years. Of Where did this all start? Graduated from U of I. Back in '69, Scar got radio right here in Des Moines at uh, 94.9. Yeah, then it was called KGGO. Mm -hmm. Were you planning on going into radio? Is that what you wanted to do when you graduated? I did when I went into college. I was going to go into dramatics and you speech. You were? Yeah. So I thought I'd put it to better use and go into radio. <laughs> and it turned out to be a 45 year career. Wow. I had a chance to work some of the major markets. Work, uh, meet a whole lot of blues people. Whole lot. Of blues go people. ahead and rattle off some of the people that, uh, because the, the list would go on for, for would, weeks on end. Would. But but some of the ones that that stick out in your mind. Probably the biggest one was BB King. Got a chance to interview him and introduce him at about three or four different venues. My all-time favorite, of course, is John Lee Hooker. Oh. The man was just impeccable and. He was uh, one of the greatest, if not the greatest blues person I've ever had a chance to meet. And of course, Buddy Guy, I got a chance to meet Eric Clapton, a lot of the uh, young blues up and comers, Kenny Wayne, uh, well, Johnny Lang, mm -hmm. got a chance to introduce them all. When they played here in town. Because when you think blues, you think of Andre. Well, yeah. Yeah. Did, I'm did, serious. Did the job lead you to blues, or have you always had a passion for I Actually, us Chicagoans. <laughs> both you got have our, it in our blood, yeah. Yeah, he went to Drake. So you, and, you grew up with a love of the blues. It wasn't so much well, of having a job and learning to love it. You've loved it from since us being a child. The, from the very beginning, uh, I used to listen to the radio back in the 50s, late 50s, all the time. And I got to introduce myself to a lot of the police. Uh, different performers who uh, who were going through the area, who were putting out blues music at the time, even though it was considered rock and roll. It was my dad who gave me the uh, difference between blues and rock and roll. Which is? Uh, blues was called uh, strictly blues. Rock and roll got to start from R&B, mm -hmm. which was a lot more boogie-oriented music, if right. you would. And it just kept on going from there to there. And, Got a chance to get my radio license, got to LA to work. Excuse me, came back to Des Moines and started uh, my business with my parents. And uh, our restaurants is celebrating our 55th year this well, year. Well, go ahead and tell us about the restaurants briefly because no. we all love them. No question about that. <laughs> well, we've been in business 55 years as Tasty Tacos Inc. And uh, we've gone from one small little cubby hole to where we were just strictly tables, four tables to about six stores that each hold about 100 people or more. So we just opened our uh, grand opening for our sixth store at East 14th and Grand, if you mm. ever get a chance to drive by there and take a look. And yeah, could you have made it a little bit bigger, though, Andre? Because <laughs> like, about the size of a high V store, for crying out loud. And, and we always do out-the-door crowds. You know, Isn't that great? Especially in the summer, it's it's hard to contain them all, but we do our best. <laughs> it is awesome. Our best. We are so proud of you. Thank you. It is so great. Now, where could people have listened to you on the radio in central Iowa around here? Because you landed at the station I was at for quite a long time. We were there 16, 19, 17 years. 17 years. 17 years. There, every Sunday morning. And by the way, um, for people that watch the ratings when it comes to things that are going on, because that was obviously one of the things that we oh, yeah. were very cognizant of, one of the highest rated shows ever on the station was his show. At one time, if I'm not mistaken, we there were the ratings, with percentage of people listening to the radio in Des Moines were approaching the 30 and 40% of all radios that were turned on mm -hmm. were listening to his show. What do you accredit that to? Uh, your passion, the music, what, why were people listening it's, so much? It's a combination of all. I, I loved radio and I uh, 
just started to listen more into the blues and get into the blues and collect it. And from then I came, became a historian in the blues. So it's 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 been an ex illustrious career for yeah, me. Yeah, let's I, I explain can't. what this is right in front of us here this, too. Uh, this is one of the best awards you've ever received. This award is given out to the uh, Blues Society in Memphis, Tennessee. I was named the International National Blues DJ of the Year in 2004. And I loved getting this one, but the one that I'm going to receive this week is even more special to me because it concerns the people of Central Iowa who listen to me and, and it continue to listen to me. There it is, the Blues Hall of Fame. And you said continue to listen to you. There is a picture of your latest effort. Tell everybody <laughs> where they can still listen to you. Well, I'm at uh, Community Radio 98.9. KFMG. I'm on there every other Tuesday, alternating with my good friend T-Bone, who does the other Tuesdays of the month. And we're always programming our blues shows to our taste and to the listener's taste. They call up, ask what we can, if we can find it. And I got to give uh, credit to Ron Sorensen for helping yeah, me uh, build no up question. my library. Mm -hmm. If you could play any blues album right now on this uh, Monday morning, what would you be listening to? Oh, it'd probably be the new uh, Buddy Guy CD recorded live at his new club in Chicago. I go there about once a year just to see what's going on in the blues world these days. There you go. We've got some great blues people coming up here this Friday. Uh, the young lady, Sean Murphy, who was with... Uh, not only Bob Seeger, but with uh, Little Feet is coming to town. She used to go to school at uh, Cedar Rapids somewhere in high school, and she's going to be here for her award. Uh, Rob Lombard, local yeah, man. He'll I've, be on here yeah. in a little bit as well. I've Fantastic known him for musician. a long time. But Andre, we just want to make sure you came on the program so we could say congratulations in person, buddy. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Pleasure being here. To meet you. Congratulations, Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the attention you're giving it. Good to see you, my friend. Take care. All right, buddy.